All right, today we're going to learn about the asymptotic equipartition property, AEP. It's a fancy name, but relies on a few familiar concepts, so we're going to make the overview as clear as possible using CATS. This is part one of two videos we have about AEP. This one introduces the setup, usefulness, and meaning of the theorem without going too much into the math. Part two includes more detail. Okay, so we have two siblings, Ashley and Bill. And they have a super cute cat named Ella. Now they're stuck at home on summer vacation because, I don't know, there's a global pandemic happening or something. So Ella meows all the time. One day, Ashley and Bill decide to start keeping track of how many times per day Ella meows. They decide it's reasonable to assume the amount of times Ella meows today is not affected by how much she meowed yesterday. Also, whatever tells her deep down inside when she should meow doesn't change. Each day is independent of the others. They plotted Ella's meows each day for 100 days, and here are the results. This is cool, but ultimately it's not clear what insights we can get from a single sequence. But since this is already a hypothetical, let's go a step further. Imagine there are many parallel universes in which Ashley, Bill, and Ella run this experiment. Each universe is identical, but we get different sequences since Ella's cat soul telling her how much to meow is a kind of random variable that doesn't depend on anything else. Even if we can't predict what the sequence of meows will be, it seems like some sequences, like 99 meows for 100 days in a row, are not likely to happen in any universe. They wonder what sequences will occur. Now Bill invents a game for Ashley. He gives her a million coins, and she has to distribute coins across sequences to bet on which will occur in the multiverse. If she picks wrong, she has to pay. But if she chooses correctly, she wins the money. Ashley's trying to pick the best strategy when she realizes this is the perfect application for AEP. The asymptotic equipartition property involves looking at all possible sequences of meows and tells us that only a small fraction of them will occur in practice. The special subset is called the typical set. Intuitively, the sequence of 99 meows for a whole bunch of days is outside the typical set. But we can see an example of a typical sequence too. Maybe I'll have a quieter day with 23 meows than a loud one, and so on. Suppose Ashley and Bill notice that 20 meows per day occurs most often. Would the sequence of all 20s be in the typical set? Though the sequence might have high probability, it is not typical. It doesn't represent most outcomes across universes, since Ella has noisier and quieter days and otherwise shows a non-constant distribution. Counterintuitively, the most likely sequence is often not in the typical set. All right, then how do we define typical set, and how can Ashley figure out which sequences are in it? Let's go back to our parallel universes. For any possible sequence, we can assign a likelihood of it happening by assuming independence of Ella's behaviors across days. The probability of a particular sequence occurring is simply the product of the probabilities for individual days. Ashley computes the probability of every sequence and creates a histogram. For each possible probability between 0 and 1, a bar indicates the number of sequences with that probability of occurring. Ashley observes three kinds of sequences. Those that have high probability, and there aren't a lot of those, the bars are so tiny. Ones that almost never occur and almost all sequences are of this type, and a group in between, a small set of sequences that are equiprobable or equally likely. In this example, there are around 10 to the 5 sequences in the subset, a really tiny fraction compared to all sequences, but they each have probability approximately 1 over 10 to the 5, so this subset holds almost all the probability. That collection of sequences is precisely the typical set. In essence, AEP filters out a small number of highly likely sequences and a lot of highly unlikely sequences to leave us with the typical set consisting of a few sequences that are all moderately likely. So what is Ashley's winning strategy? First, she figures out the target probability that sequences in the typical set have. Then she lists all length n sequences and selects the ones with close to the target probability of occurring. She places her coins evenly across these sequences. By AEP, the sequences that occur in the multiverse are almost certainly from the typical set. Ashley is basically guaranteed to win all her bets. 
One last note. The target probability involves a special quantity called entropy, represented by H, related to the probability distribution of Ella's meows per day. We encourage you to learn more about entropy and AEP from your favorite information theory books or videos, including part two of our series.